Oh. Hi guys, welcome, welcome, welcome back to the devotionals. I've been away, but glory to God, I'm back. Okay, Good success versus bad success. That's the daily devotional for today. Now, these daily devotionals are written by Pastor E. A. Adeboye of the Christ Redeemed Christian Church of God. Now, good success versus bad success. That's the theme for today. Mm. Now, the Bible reading is taken from the book of Joshua 1.8. Joshua 1.8, which says, The book of the law shall not depart out of thy mouth, but thou shalt meditate therein day and night that thou mayest observe to do according to all that is written therein. For then thou shalt make thy way prosperous, and then thou shalt have good success. Joshua 1.8 The Bible reading is taken from the book of Deuteronomy 28, 1-14. Deuteronomy 28, 1-14, which says the following. It says, And it shall come to pass, if thou shalt hearken diligently unto the voice of the Lord thy God, to observe and to do all his commandments, which I command thee this day, that the Lord will, that the Lord thy God will set thee on high above all nations of the earth, and all the blessings shall come on thee and overtake thee. If thou shalt hearken unto the voice of the Lord thy God, blessed shall thou be in the city, and blessed shall thou be in the field. Blessed shall be the fruit of thy body, and the fruit of thy ground, and the fruit of thy cattle, the increase of thy kind, and the flocks of thy sheep. Blessed shall be thy basket and thy store. Blessed shall thou be when thou comest in, and blessed shall thou be when thou goest out. The Lord shall cause thy enemies that rise up against thee to be smitten before thy face. They shall come out against thee one way and flee in seven ways. The Lord shall command the blessings upon thee in thy storehouses. And in all that thou settest thine hand unto, he shall bless thee in the land which the Lord thy God giveth thee. The Lord shall establish thee and holy people unto himself, as he had sworn unto thee, if thou shalt keep the commandments of the Lord thy God, and walk in his ways. And all people of the earth shall see that thou art called by the name of the Lord, and they shall be afraid of thee. And the Lord shall make thee plenteous in goods, in the fruit of thy body, and in the fruit of thy cattle, and in the fruit of thy ground, in the land which the Lord swear unto thy fathers to give thee. And the Lord shall open unto thee his good treasure, the heaven to give the rain unto thy land in his season, and to bless all the work of thine hand. And then thou shalt lend unto many nations, and thou shalt not borrow. And the Lord shall make thee the head, and not the tail, and thou shalt be above only, and thou shalt not be beneath, if that thou hearken unto the commandments of the Lord thy God, which I commanded this day to observe and to do them. And thou shalt not go aside from any of the words which I commanded this day to the right hand or to the left to go after other gods to serve them. Now let's go into the message to get a better insight. I think it was quite obvious. But let's go into the message. If God talked about good success in Joshua 1.8, that then this implies that there is also bad success. As God gives good success, the devil can also give the bad kind. In Matthew 4, 8 to 10, the devil showed Jesus Christ the glory of this world and asked Jesus to worship him, promising that he could give him all the glories of, of the world. Thank God our Lord Jesus Christ will never worship the devil. It is unfortunate, however, that many of his children are turning to worship the devil in exchange for success today. Many people indulge in crime, money rituals, and so on to achieve success. This is bad success because it's success from the devil. This is the type that comes with sorrows. When you get good success, God will make you rich materially, emotionally, spiritually, maritally, psychologically, and mentally. I don't know about you, but as for me, I want the kind of success that God gives. I will tell you why many people do not choose God's path to success. 
because they believe God's way is difficult and the devil's way is easier. But Proverbs 14, 12 tells us, saying, There is a way which seemeth right unto a man, but the end thereof are the ways of death. Let me repeat that. There is a way which seemeth right unto a man, but the end thereof are always death. When you get good success, God will make you rich. But when the devil gives you, will eventually fade away and be void of troubles. And sorry, and not and will not be void of troubles. Only what God gives you will last, give you peace of mind, and keep you holy. Joseph enjoyed good success. He was a slave. Yet the Bible says he was successful because God was with him. Daniel was a captive in the land of Babylon, yet he was made the chief of the governor over all the wise men in that empire because he was a man that feared God. Josiah was just eight years old when eight years old, sorry, when he became king. As long as he obeyed God, his reign was successful. King Saul, on the other hand, he wanted the success that the world gives. He wanted to be praised by men and to build earthly monuments for himself his end was destruction beloved i don't want you to desire the success that the world gives which only brings you happiness for the moment instead desire the good success that god gives joshua 1 8 says that when you obey the word of god good success is guaranteed let me repeat that Joshua 1.8 says that when you obey the word of God, good success is guaranteed. This is the type of success that comes without sorrow. Choose wisely. Lastly, we have a prayer point. It's a short, it's a short one, so I'd like you guys to pray with me. It says, Father, please bless me all, with all-round success that comes from you alone. Pray with me. King of glory, please bless me with all-round success. That comes from you alone, Father, in the mighty name of Jesus. That success that fills me materially, emotionally, financially, spiritually, and mentally, King of Glory. That is the success I want. Glory and honor be to your name, Father. For in Jesus' name I pray. Amen. May the Lord bless the reading and the hearing of his word. In Jesus' name. Amen.